What are the seven major neurotransmitters and their role in diseases? Neurotransmitters are messengers that transmit specific chemical instructions from a neuron to another neuron and from neurons to tissues and organs. The seven major neurotransmitters are, acetylcholine, dopamine, glutamate, GABA, serotonin, norepinephrine, and histamine. Neurotransmitters are produced by neurons and released in gaps that are found between neurons and between neurons and organs. These junctions are known as synapses. When neurotransmitters are released in the synapses by a neuron, they go and bind to receptors on the receiving neuron or organ. It is like crossing from one side of a river to the other side. This transition of neurotransmitters from one side to the other is known as neurotransmission. As neurotransmitters are chemical messengers, they hold instructions such as excitatory, doing, or inhibitory, stop doing, information that is communicated and conveyed between neurons until they reach the target tissue or organ responsible for the execution of a specific action, such as thinking, learning, emotions, memory, and movement. Number 1. Acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is an organic chemical involved in the transmission of instructions between neurons and muscles known as neuromotor or neuromuscular transmission, and between neurons that transmit information for brain organs and glands that are involved in attention, wakefulness, learning, memory, such as short-term memory, motivation, and mood and emotion. Abnormalities in acetylcholine function are involved in disorders and diseases such as myasthenia gravis, and Alzheimer's disease. In myasthenia gravis, the body produces antibodies against acetylcholine receptors, blocking the neuromuscular transmission resulting in muscles weakness and fatigue. As acetylcholine is essential for processing memory and learning, the loss of cholinergic neurons, that uses acetylcholine for neurotransmission, contributes to the causes of Alzheimer's disease. There are drugs that promote the function of acetylcholine, known as agonists, such as nicotine, muscarine, and neostigmine, while others block its activity, known as antagonists, such as curare, atropine, scopolamine, and botulinum toxin. In clinics, myorelaxants are used for the treatment of myasthenia gravis using inhibitors of cholinesterase, an enzyme that blocks the function of acetylcholine. For Alzheimer's disease, the cholinesterase inhibitor, rivastigmine, is used. Number 2. Dopamine. Dopamine is an organic chemical involved in the transmission of instructions between neurons to control movement and reward-motivated behavior, such as pleasure, craving, decision-making based on rewards, associative learning, such as learning new things, and short-term memory. Abnormalities in dopamine function are involved in disorders and diseases such as Parkinson's disease, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD, and schizophrenia. Parkinson's disease is due to the loss of neurons that secrete dopamine in the substantia nigra region of the brain and that control movement. As a result, symptoms such as trembling, stiffness, and slower movement are associated with this disease. ADHD is associated with defects in dopamine neurotransmission resulting in reduced attention, short-term memory, and impulse control. Although the mechanism is not well known, the excessive use of dopamine stimulants, such as amphetamine, has been shown to induce schizophrenia. There are drugs that directly promote the function of dopamine, known as agonists, such as deprinil, while others directly block its activity, known as antagonists, such as chlorpromazine. Number 3. Glutamate. Glutamate is the most abundant chemical messenger that is involved in excitatory neurotransmission which increases nerves' impulses, known as action potentials. It is implicated in cognitive activity, including memory and learning, the growth of neurons, and the formation of synapses. Abnormalities in glutamate function are involved in disorders and diseases such as epileptic seizures, autism syndrome disorder, stroke, intellectual disability, amyotrophic lateral disability, ALS, and Alzheimer's disease. Epileptic seizures are due to the high excitatory activity of glutamate, known as excitotoxicity. In this case, neurons are excessively stimulated resulting in uncontrolled shaking and loss of consciousness. If lasting for longer periods these epileptic seizures can lead to brain damage. Autism syndrome disorder has been associated with alterations in glutamate function during the neurodevelopment of the embryo. The born child has social and communication difficulties as well as limited and repetitive behavior. Too much glutamate known as excitotoxicity can lead to the destruction of neurons resulting in stroke and death. Intellectual disability has also been associated with alterations in glutamate function during the neurodevelopment of the embryo. 
ALS is a progressive degenerative disorder characterized by the loss of motor neurons that control movements due to glutamate excitotoxicity. In Alzheimer's disease, glutamate excitotoxicity has also been associated with the death of neurons found in the cortex and hippocampus, and involved in learning and memory. There are drugs that promote the function of glutamates such as NMDA and AMPA, while others block its activity such as ketamine and AP5. Number 4. GABA. GABA, gamma aminobutyric acid, is a chemical messenger and the major inhibitor of neurotransmission by reducing nerves impulses. Therefore, it has an opposite action to that of glutamate, which ensures balanced neurotransmission. GABA is involved in self-control, emotions, and attention. Abnormalities in GABA function are involved in disorders and diseases such as epileptic seizures, sleep disorders, anxiety disorders, schizophrenia, major depression, and autism syndrome disorder. As GABA is an inhibitor of neurotransmission, the reduction in its level in neurons results in excitotoxicity as neurons are excessively stimulated resulting in uncontrolled shaking and loss of consciousness, associated with epileptic seizures. GABA is known to favor sleep and alterations in its level in neurons will keep them stimulated which affects sleep. GABA has been shown to prevent the activation of the hypothalamus pituitary gland adrenal glands axis known as HPA axis that is involved in fear and anxiety. A reduction in the level of GABA promotes anxiety. Although the mechanism by which GABA is involved in schizophrenia is not well known, it is suggested that the reduction in GABA affects the function of the prefrontal cortex responsible for cognitive control, such as information processing and behavior. The mechanism linking GABA and major depression is suggested to be like the one involved in anxiety disorders where a deficit in GABA increases the activation of the HPA axis. The link between GABA and autism may be due to defect in GABA function during the neurodevelopment of the embryo. There are drugs that promote the function of GABA such as muscimol, while others block its activity such as bicuculine and tiagabine. Number 5. Serotonin. Serotonin is a chemical messenger involved in the neurotransmission of information related to mood, reward, learning, memory, and cognition. Abnormalities in serotonin function are involved in disorders and diseases such as major depression, and autism syndrome disorder. Although significant abnormalities in the function of serotonin were seen in depressed patients, the mechanism by which serotonin is involved in depression is not well known. The link between serotonin and autism may also be due to alterations in serotonin function during the neurodevelopment of the embryo. There are drugs that directly promote the function of serotonin such as lysergic acid diethylamide, fenfluramine, and MDMA, while others directly block its activity such as SSRI, ondansetron, and PCPA. Number 6. Norepinephrine. Norepinephrine is a hormone and chemical messenger associated with the fight-or-flight response mediated by the HPA axis. In temporary stressful situations, the hypothalamus secretes CRH, or corticotropin-releasing hormone, to stimulate the secretion of ACTH, or adrenocorticotropic hormone, by the pituitary gland leading to the secretion of the hormone noradrenaline, also known as norepinephrine, which instructs the brain and body for action. Abnormalities in norepinephrine function are involved in disorders and diseases such as pheochromocytoma and attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, ADHD. Pheochromocytoma is a tumor found in the adrenal medulla where norepinephrine is produced. Because tumor cells produce large quantities of norepinephrine, symptoms such as hypertension are observed. Although the mechanism between norepinephrine and ADHD is not well known, alterations in the processing of norepinephrine appear to be involved in impulsiveness and hyperactivity seen in ADHD. There are drugs that directly promote the function of epinephrine such as moclobamide, idazoxin, while others directly block its activity such as fusaric acid. Number 7. Histamine. Histamine is a well-known actor in local immune responses, and is produced by mast cells and basophils. However, it is also an important neurotransmitter involved in itching following inflammation, and in the regulation of sleep-wakefulness cycle. Abnormalities in histamine function are involved in disorders and diseases such as chronic inflammatory diseases, allergies, and mastocytosis. Histamine is involved in the regulation of the function of immune cells which secrete cytokines that are involved in inflammation. 
Therefore, alteration of histamine levels is seen in several chronic inflammatory diseases, including atopic dermatitis, allergic asthma, and allergic rhinitis. Histamine is actively secreted by mast cells and basophils following their activation by allergens, which are substances causing allergies, resulting in swelling, smooth muscle contraction, itching, and tachycardia. An excess of histamine is produced during mastocytosis which is characterized by increased proliferation of mast cells. There are drugs that directly block the function of histamines such as diphenhydramine also known as Benadryl. In conclusion, neurotransmitters are essential for the function of the nervous system as they transmit information from the brain to other parts of the body and the other way around. Therefore, any alterations in their function have significant impacts on mental health and diseases. If you enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe, and share, for more videos like this.